Well, today we're going to do a little video on how to install a rear tra torsion bar on a 69 AMX. Bought it from this place right here. Anyway, I'm not going to show you how to do it because it took me a long time and the video would probably probably put bore you to death. But anyway, I installed it my way. Whether it's the right way or not, I'm just going to give you an idea on how I did it. I made this, put this bracket in here, I mounted it right to the factory traction bar. Can you see, get a good look at that? Right? You have to put, you have to bring the L bracket upside down. Plenty of clearance on the upside and on the downside. The tailpipes, not so much, but they're clear. I made them tailpipes like 30 years ago. There's clearance area. So it should be all right. Or two and a quarter, so two inch will give you, you know, more clearance. Now, since I put these uh, brackets through the frame, well, there's uh, inside the frame, there's a uh, inner locking chamber, so you can't you can't get the brackets through there. So I had to put self taps in the frame. Hopefully that'll work. If it don't work, I'll make a note in the video. The brackets you had to make, you had to put them at a little angle in the back. I'm, I'm in front of the axle right now. They're facing the, the rear, or they're facing tipped upward, about a half an inch, three quarter inch. To get the bar in here, you have to take one wheel off to shimmy it in here. Drill these holes out and measure it out to drill the holes. I mean, to get it all to line up, because I had to keep putting the car up and down, put the weight on the ground. I didn't want I didn't want it binding up too much. Because, you know, the, the rear end moves. Ugh. A little bit when you put it on the ground, put the weight on it, it moves. So, you can see what I got here. We're about uh, Three inches, two inches rear of the tire, the center line of the tire, backwards. Got clearance here. Over the drive shaft. I'm trying to show you, it's kind of dark today, it's raining. Not too good with the camera, as you know. Now they tilt, they tilt outward just a little bit, which really is no big deal. The bracket that the uh, lower uh, stabilizer pin sits on is just forward of the big nut. This camera really does suck. It doesn't it doesn't give you a real good it's kind of blurry. That's all I got. This nut here, the top nut here, I had to grind the back head of the the back head of half off. Not all the way, but a good portion of the way to get it to clear that bolt. So I could get the angle I needed on the bracket. This this hole here is pretty much towards the bottom of the bracket. Couldn't go much lower than that. The one hole is towards the top and the other one's towards the bottom. That's about it. 
don't know what else to tell you. Otherwise, uh, I can give you the length of the, the brackets. That seemed to work out all right. Six and a half inches, six and a quarter. All right, that's all I got.